Hey VC, Josh, JD, back again. I wanted to shoot another quick video here. I was hoping to do a, a little contest this time. Um, I have a question that uh, I'm wondering about that I know a lot of people are pretty passionate about or are really anal about. So um, I'm the reason for the contest is I'm still trying to figure out what the best way to do this is. So um, the contest is, uh, and, or the questions I should say are, how do you store your vinyl? So um, a couple different categories here. So the first category for me is the most difficult, and that is old used vinyl in the shrink with stickers. So you've got promo sticker here. You've got original um, price tag here. Um, how do you go about storing that? So right now, um, I'm leaving the shrink on and the promo sticker, and I'm not crazy about that. Um, it works for single albums, but double albums it gets really hard um, to get in the uh, sleeves. So, uh, and then the other question within that is, what do you do with the inner sleeves? So right now I um, have buy new polyline sleeves for all my records. By the way, I should introduce this is my daughter. It's seven in the morning and the rest of the family sleeping. And this is the only time we had to make a video. So why not bring her in? Um, so that is the first question. So what do you do with stuff that's in the shrink with promo stickers? Do you peel a promo sticker off, find a way to put it in the sleeve? So within that, um, the other question is what kind of outer sleeves do you use? Do you use outer sleeves? Um, I am using the no flap Blake sleeves see there some intense glare means blade <coughs> usually all right so that is the most difficult one next one's not so tough <clears throat> excuse me this is um, a used record no stickers but added something different here so I've seen some of you guys that put the LP in the sleeve on the back um, so that you have a little bit easier access. If you wanted to just pull out the record, you can do that without pulling everything out. Um, so I started putting all my stuff like that, um, but then I kind of got bummed out that I couldn't see the back cover. Um, so I went back to this way, where I actually keep the record inside. Um, so I'm not sure how you guys do it out there, but would love to see some video responses of, uh, some, of what some of your habits are. And then the last piece, I think, of the inside. So when you do keep it in, opening up, so you have to actually take it all the way out to get the record out, or opening to the side so that you can just quickly slide the record out, or hopefully quickly slide the record out. All right, so that's... That's that. And then the final question. This is one that uh, I'm, I'm really struggling with right now. So you've got a double LP, or sorry, this one's not really a double LP. It's a single LP, but it's a gatefold. So it's, um, <clears throat> and it's got a promo sticker on there and the shrink. Um, I'm torn on this because obviously I want to open it up and see the gatefold. Um, but I don't know if I want to lose the shrink. So. And for sure, I don't want to lose the promo sticker. I love promo stickers. I think they're just cool. Now, this one's pretty plain and white, but um, it's still kind of cool. It says limited edition colored vinyl. Um, and a couple other tidbits on there. Um, so what do you do with that? I'm just curious just to hear that. Um, my guess is I'll rip the shrink off this just because I want to see the gatefold and really enjoy that record. Um, but I'd love to see a solution for the uh, promo stickers, what to do with the promo stickers, how to save those. Um, <clears throat> so, love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, so that's it. I think I covered everything. Um, so I guess, uh, just to kind of recap, um, what are you using for inner sleeves? What are you using for outer sleeves? Um, do you like them? And then, uh, um, and then the, I guess the combinations of the used vinyl uh, with promo stickers, without promo stickers. Do you put the LP on the outside of the album, inside of the album, facing up, facing out? Um, just love to hear your thoughts on that and what your uh, um, habits are. So, 
Um, as long as I'm here, um, maybe I'll show just other couple of quick pickups that I got. Um, I uh, saw this from uh, from Brett. Uh, this is Bill Fay's newest. Well, I think it's his first record in um, some 30 years, if I remember right, or 29 years. I can't remember. So I haven't spun this yet, but I'm really looking forward to doing that. And then I went ahead and picked up uh, Mumford & Sons. Um, Babel, their newest, um, spun that. It's just really fun. I, I love these guys. Just cool, cool sound. And then uh, I picked up two My Morning Jacket albums. So um, uh, one of the uh, uh, guys on here, I'm totally spacing out on the name. Uh, I was a big My Morning Jacket fan. I subscribed to his channel. Um, and I had never heard him before, so I decided to pick up a couple albums. So I picked up this one, which is Z. Um, and then uh, I picked up another one, which I'm playing right now. And that is... This one is from 2003, uh, My Morning Jacket, and this one is called It Still Moves. Um, so I just listened to the first disc of this, which, by the way, I don't know, sometimes double LPs bug me. <laughs> I prefer to have it all on two sides. That's a lot of flipping. Maybe I'm just a little bit lazy, but um, fun nonetheless. Uh, maybe the last one I'll show here. Um, I picked this up. Um, so this is uh, my second Dinosaur Jr. album now. I understand that it's really not Dinosaur Jr. Um, or it's a project with them, but it's not their um, most original stuff. But um, I just picked it up. I think it's from Record Store Day um, this year and uh, just wanted to check it out. I haven't checked it out yet, but hope too soon. And so yeah, that's it. I'll leave it at that and uh, um, hope to see some comments. I'd love to see. Um, I'll uh, keep the contest open for uh, a couple of weeks um, and go through the submissions and uh, pick some winners and uh, I'll send out some cool stuff. So I'll do two prizes. I think uh, a lot of you guys usually do that. Um, so looking forward to hearing your responses. Thanks. Take care. Make it a great day.